Good morning, my brothers and sisters in Christ. I'm here enjoying my cup of coffee. Be happy. That's what I'm doing. Being happy, rejoicing in the day the Lord has made. And I just want to encourage you, brothers and sisters, to take some time out today and talk to God. Because he does speak. He does He does respond. And a lot of times it's because we're not listening or we think it's our minds. We think it's just us going crazy because God communicates in different ways. And so take some time out today and speak to the Lord. See if there's anything he wants to say to you. See if there's anything he wants to warn you about. You know, God longs for that intimate moment with us. He, he longs for us to desire that. He, he wants us to desire that intimate moment with God. So take some time today and conversate with God. It could be at work. It could be at work. It could be at school. It could be in your car. It could be anywhere. Just take some time apart, away from noise, away from the busyness of life. Like we're always busy. We're always on the go. It's busy, 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 and we cannot hear the voice of God. God has a small, still voice, right? And so we must get away from distraction, get away from that the busyness, the noise, and just when you finish conversating with God, just take five, ten minutes and just let Him respond. Wait to see if He speaks. He may speak in a third person. It may be like you feel like you're you're speaking to yourself, you're talking to yourself, but it's really Him speaking to your spirit. Or He'll give you an image or, or, or a movie of something. He speaks in different ways. He communicates in different ways. So take some time out. God wants to speak to you. I know because He does it to me. Like, He speaks to me. So I'm not His favorite child. So I, so I think know but he wants us he wants us with with us and I've been drawing closer to the Lord and just having that intimate moment with him I either in my patio in my closet I found a God spot where I go up in the hill and I could see the whole city and see beautiful it's just so beautiful and I I go up there it's it's a hill I have to climb up and there's a perfect rock that I can sit on and I sit there and I conversate with God and I give him time to respond and he speaks to me he he speaks in my spirit so I know that the Lord speaks we don't have to wait to go to church for him to speak to us we don't have to wait for someone to give us a prophecy the Lord wants to speak we, sometimes we, we wait for that prophecy or we wait to go to church for a word Lord give me a word give me a word but he speaks he speaks he speaks. Sometimes it's like you, you, you get your Bible and you open it, the first page or the, where you land, is that's the word for you that God wants to speak to you. But we're like, oh, no, that's impossible. But God is mysterious and we have to learn his ways and we have to learn how he communicates. He doesn't communicate like men. He doesn't communicate like men, but he does speak. So I encourage you, brothers and sisters, to take some time out and start developing a relationship with God every day without ceasing. Start 30 minutes every day and start building up. It's all about creating healthy habits. Don't talk to the, the, one day to the Lord and then the next day you forget to pray. No, every day. God bless my brothers and sisters and have a great day.